Hey guys, welcome to another Dia Latina vlog. Today I'm actually headed to uh, the Melbourne uh, Convention Centre at the Plenary because I am seeing uh, Christina Hoff Summers as well as Roxanne Gay. Now for those who don't know, uh, Christina Hoff Summers is someone I have somewhat of, a, of an affinity for. She is the factual feminist on YouTube. She is also, uh, she came to prominence for me when she did uh, a talk uh, where now my favorite human being of all time is Steven Crowder. I, I make no secret of this. For those of you who follow me, you know that I love Steven Crowder. So Steven Crowder did um, a college talk with uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. The, it was called The Triggering. And uh, so it was Milo Yiannopoulos, Steven Crowder, and the factual feminist, Christina Hoff Summers. The three of them spoke to crowds of uh, young millennials. And that's where the meme, and that's where the gif of keep this hate speech off this campus, keep your hate speech, that's where that comes from, comes from that very talk. So that's where Milo Yiannopoulos, I first got to know about him. Uh, and then that's where I first got to know about Christina Hoff Summers. And now she's here in Australia. So I'm totally going to see her. I'm a big fan of Christina Hoff Summers. I'm not too familiar with uh, Roxanne Gay. But uh, my, from what I've seen and what I saw of her on Q&A, we don't agree on much. Uh, she is a woman who thinks that hate speech. She thinks that Milanopolis should be deplatformed and should shouldn't be allowed in the country. I find that stupid. Yeah. Freedom of speech means that it's it's an absolute statement. Aside from inciting violence on other individuals, and aside, you know, you should be allowed to say whatever you want, no matter how moronic, how evil, and how stupid what you say is. Freedom of speech is is it's an absolute. You can't you can't have it either or. But you obviously you still need to keep it within the confines of of the of the legislation that exists in the land. And Australia has freedom of speech at least to some degree. It has it in principle. It doesn't have it in um, uh, legal practice. But it's something that we've had for so long that to all of a sudden start implementing and imposing censorship the way we're doing, I don't find that to be healthy and Roxanne Gay seems to talk against those sorts of things. I was here for Dr. Jordan Peterson. There was security everywhere and here it is pretty much a free-for-all. It is easy to walk around, it is, there's, no, there's no sort of weird political hostile climate in the air. There's no one circling the convention center. It actually seems to be a pretty safe event. Anyway, it's just funny to see the differences between the two. So from what I can tell now, this is very much a feminist event. A lot of A lot of lefties are here. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to be discreet because we are all brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of interesting conversations occurring and I'm excited to see what happens. So from what I can see, this place is full of predominantly women and a couple of beta males, maybe even some uh, gamma delta males. Uh, the types of women that are here are all mixed up, like conservative dressed women, women with like shaved heads, and all different kinds of people. So it's good to be among a nice mix of different views. I'm really enjoying it uh, so far, but we will see what happens because um, I have been getting a couple of looks. But um, it should be okay. So fingers crossed. Um, now, uh, agree that it's unfortunate, but you say, well, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do other things on campus. Do what? Now, they've tried, and they, they are sorry about this, but they say just to be safe, you can do these things. And it's actually, it is about empowerment. It's not the old fashioned, you know, oh, you have to be careful what you wear and what you drink. That's not what this is about. It actually teaches young women a kind of uh, a, the psychology of uh, risk, and they go through some scenarios. What would you do here? What would you do there? They they, they role play it, and then uh, they teach them a little how legitimate it is to um, 
you know, understand what your sexual desires are, and, what, and, that you, and be very, that they have to be very clear about setting limits. It, 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 it does, and it works. Fundamental values, because, and I, uh, overall, I am, I've always been pro-choice, but I understand that some people would see it differently. If you believe they're religious, and they believe that, uh, that the, you know, the, Thank you so much, Christina Hopsamas, for doing this. How are you? Thanks, Lily. I think it went better in Melbourne than in Sydney. I'm glad. How was? Uh, how did you find the the difference in terms of atmosphere between the two? It, you know, the audience was just a little more mellow, and I thought reflective. There was a kind of. Uh, I don't know what I'm to say, mob psychology. Mob psychology in, in, in Sydney where they were encouraging each other so there was hissing and booing and stamp, you know, stamping their feet. And here, well, they didn't agree with everything I said before. And Dr. Roxanne certainly had her fans, but I had some fans too. Yes. And people in quite Talking to her. <laughs> so I, I'm happier about that. And I think uh, Roxanne and I, because the audience was a little more... Varied? Uh, varied and calm, it, we were more effective. Did you find, I personally found certain people to be quite disrespectful towards you, but you seem to be quite gracious in how you approach that. Is that in your years of experience? Or? Years of experience, and I know it, it's not me they're reacting to, it's these things that they're dealing with. Doctrine. Some, some doctrine, and they're imagining me. I know who I am. I know my weaknesses and my strengths, and it's not what they think, so it doesn't Okay. Well, well I hope... That's good. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Melbourne. Well, here's the thing. This is not fair. I was, for whatever reason, like five days in Sydney. I walked 30 miles. I saw for every little bit that I could. Melbourne, I haven't seen a thing. Oh, no. And I love it. It's so beautiful. It is. <laughs> but I think I'm leaving like at 8 in the morning. Maybe I'll get up at 5. This is the leftist state of Australia, by the way. I know, but the leftists were somehow more... Uh, you're so chill. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, cool. I'll stop.